which is the time of supply easy to calculate in case of continuous supply which hour is earlier the earliest date we call it as time of supply approval basis means i'll send you goods if you agree that the goods is good i will collect then only we call it as it is approved the rule is in the rcm whenever the invoice is made max to max you will give 30 days within 30 days payment has to be happened a warm welcome to one and all this your other sir here lecturing with ashram first grade college the temple of excellence and now we are in the session 7 of your topic called indirect taxation and indirect taxation we are discussing about the topic called time of supply. Now under time of supply almost everything forward, reverse, residual and your vouchers everything we completed and in today's session we will go with the remaining topics like in case of it is on approval basis in case of your reverse charge mechanism or in case of continuous supply. So on the what basis we should calculate your time of supply. Concept, meaning as well as we go with problems. Your problems will be continuous supply of goods. From the following information determine the time of supply if there is continuous supply of goods. We have event dealer 1, dealer 2. There are two dealers are there. First dealer, date of supply, 1st February, date of removal of goods. We have two dates. One will be 16th Jan and 18th Jan. Statement of account, 5th February and date of receipt of payment is 2nd February. Similarly, if you go with dealer 2, we have 21st date of supply 18 January and 28 January there is a date of removal of goods and we have statement of accounts on 5th January date of receipt of payment it is on 10th February these are the information are available in our calculation now we have all the information yes as per this which is the time of supply easy to calculate in case of continuous supply which hour is earlier the earliest date we call it as time of supply as you go with this you have first 2nd february 5th 18th 16th and which is the earliest we go for that i'll show you the answer as per this the time of supply we go with 1st february why because in this we have to make a small changes in this what is the changes in the sense it must be it must be 16th february and 18th february we'll go with this calculation now that date of supply 1st february 16th is a date of removal and 18th feb is a date of removal statement of accounts is on 5th february and date of receipt of payment is 2nd February. So which one is which one is earlier? Your first February is earlier. We go with first February. There is a small changes in the question. So again it will be second and it will be second. In the question also I'll make changes. This must be second. This must be second and your calculation must be on this. Which one is earlier? 1st February is the earlier out of this. Which one is earlier? So in this, your 5th January will be called as earlier. 5th January will be considered as earlier. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, these are all calculation in case of continuous. Out of continuous, your invoice, your supply, and your date of payment, everything we compare, which one is earlier, we consider as your time of supply. Now, I'll go with your supply on approval basis, easiest one. Now, we have date of removal, 1st December, date of issue, 15th December, 
date of acceptance by recipient 5th December, date of receipt of payment 25th December. Similarly, we have dealer 2, 1st December, 25th June, 25th June and 20th June. These are all information we have right now. 1st December, 15th December, 5th December, 25th December, all this information we have. How to calculate your time of supply in case of approval basis? What is approval basis? Approval basis means I'll send you goods. If you agree that the goods is good, I will collect. Then only we call it as it is approved. How many days we give? We give you six months time. Within six months, you should approve that you are accepted. Within six months, you are not accepted. Automatically, the day of end of six months, we consider as it is approved. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, in this case one, we have case one and case two. Dealer one and dealer two. Dealer one, what happened? I'll show you. Invoice was issued after the date of acceptance of goods sent on approval basis. Hence, the date of acceptance by the recipient shall be the time of supply. When the recipient accepted, the accepted date will be considered as time of supply. In case of case 2, since the invoice is not issued within 6 months, invoice is not issued within 6 months. From the date of removal of goods, and payment is also received after six months. Time of supply shall be the date expiry of six months. That is 2-6-2019 from 1st December to 2-6. We have to calculate. I'll show you. In the first case, removal is 1st December. Issue of invoice. Within six months, I have given invoice. Now, and the payment also accepted within six months. So it will be easy for you, which one is earlier. So out of these three, out of these three, will not consider removal date. We consider invoice, acceptance, date of receipt, which one is earlier, 5-12-2018 is earlier. We will not consider removal date. Why? Because everything happened within six months. But in case of dealer two, 1st December, the removal means the goods is transferred, but invoice is made after six months. Your date of receipt after six months, date of receipt of payment it is also after six months. Everything happened after six months. Then what happens? For this, we should add six months. This will be date of time of supply. Hope you are clear. Whatever the removal date is there, everything is happened after six months means the day the six months ends, the next day will be called as your time of supply. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, we'll go for the last one. We'll go for the last one. Your time of supply under RCM. Reverse charge mechanism. Now, determine time of supply in the following cases. The recipient of goods is liable to pay tax under RCM basis. Now, rate of invoice 1st December, rate of receipt 5th December, date of payment it is 10th December, date when payment debited it is 12th December. Hope you are clear. Yes. So similarly, we have case two, case three, and case four. I'll go one by one. Determine the supply, time of supply of the following cases in case of recipient of goods liable to RCM. See, 1st December, we have 5th December, we have 10th December. First, we'll go to concept. Later, I'll come back for the answer. What is the concept we have? Case one. Time of supply is the date of receipt of goods. Why? Because 5, 12, 18, 10, 12, 18, or 12, 12, 18, whichever is earlier. Again, I'll repeat 5, 12, 10, 12, 12, 12. I'll go back 5, 12, 10, 12, 
12, 12. We will not consider date of invoice, the receipt of goods, payment of in the books, when payment debited to your account. Out of this, whichever is earlier. The 5th, 12, 2018 is earlier. Now we'll go to second one. Time of supply is the date of payment in the books of receipt. 15, 12, 10, 12, or 12, 12. Again, I'll go. 15, 12, 10, 12, 12, 8, 12, 12. So it will be your 10, 12 is a time of supply. Similarly, come for this 15, 12, 10. I'll go with 10, 12. 15, 18, 20. Still, we go for 1st January. Why? I'll go for the reason. In the third one, time of supply is a date when payment is debited in the bank account of recipient 15, 12, 12 or 10, whichever is earlier. And the last one, time of supply is immediately following 30 days from the date of issue of invoice by the supplier. As per this, what happens? See, 1st December, the invoice is given. 1st December, the invoice is provided. It is in 12, it is in what? 2019. So, and 18 January, 20 January. So, in this we go with 1-1-2019. One, one, Why this changes? Everywhere we compare only 3. Why we compare your invoice? Why? Because the reason is, see, your invoice is made on 1st December. In the same month only, your payment happened. Invoice is in the December, same month payment happened. Invoice in the month of December, same month payment happened. The rule is in the RCM, whenever the invoice is made, max to max you will give 30 days. Within 30 days, payment has to be happened. But in this case, in the 1st December, invoice is made. But payment happened when? 15th January. We cannot go beyond 30 days. That's why as soon as invoice is made, we'll give you 30 days time. End of December is what? January 1st. Now, we add, we add 30 days. So it will be what? 1st January will be considered as your time of supply. Hope you are clear. Yes. Only this case, this will be time of supply and all the other cases, whenever invoice is made, within 30 days, the payment is collected. That's why we don't consider invoice for calculation. If invoice is made and payment is not collected within 30 days, then we go for invoice date, we add 30 days and we take the next day of the invoice date. 30 days completion of invoice date. Now, this is all about your reverse charge mechanism. I'll go back to all these slides. Please take screenshot. So, this is your problem number one, continuous supply. This is your answer for continuous supply. Problem number two, on approval basis. Your note for approval basis. Solution for approval basis. Problem three, it is time of supply under RCM. There is a solution for RCM. And these are your note. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what is approval basis, what is continuous and what is RCM. Please work out this problem. These are more than sufficient for your time of supply topic. Thank you.